It's the moment we've been waiting for. The Inn and Spa at Loretto's Luminaria restaurant tops TripAdvisor's list as one of the best in the country. And we are about to find out why, because newly appointed executive chef Brett Sparman, who we talked about earlier, is now joining us in our Builder Source kitchen. Hi, Brett. Hi, how are you doing? Congratulations on the new role. We're very excited for you. Well, thanks so much. Uh, it's great to be here. Thank well, you. obviously, we heard some great things about you earlier in the show, as you've been recently promoted now to executive chef. But you've actually been working in the culinary industry for quite some time, uh, about a dozen years from what I understand, right? Yeah, professionally, I had a more uh, professional environment uh, 12 years, but I've, you know, I've been cooking all my life. Yeah, you said, well, you told me a little bit about your background. Let's tell our viewers, because I like, I like what inspired you. Well, you know, I guess uh, when, I was, when I was a kid, um, um, I, I would say my first job in a kitchen was uh, at a little pizza shop uh, where I grew up in Arizona. Uh -huh. um, I was about 11. Mm -hmm. uh, I worked for uh, video game credits and uh, <laughs> slices of pizza. Isn't that cute? Slices of pizza and video game credits. It's a great start to a career. And as the new executive chef, we're all curious, what's your vision for Luminaria? You know, I think uh, what, what I feel about Luminaria and where uh, we're taking it is a real Santa Fe experience. Yeah. Um, you know, when people come to Santa Fe, they want to experience what Santa Fe is about. Totally. And I think uh, the cuisine that I do there really represents Santa Fe, you know, in a modern way and mm -hmm. uh, represents northern New Mexico. Absolutely. Well, in addition to an exceptional menu, I want to mention that Luminaria offers an expansive wine selection and has received some Spectator Magazine's uh, Award of Excellence, as we heard, three years in a row. And I think uh, we heard earlier ranked number 19, which is incredible. So how does a restaurant earn that kind of mm -hmm. distinction? Well, you know, uh, I, I got to say, no credit lies on me. It's definitely... Uh, our uh, director of restaurants, uh, Natasha Oscott, mm -hmm. um, she really uh, loves wine, yeah. um, and she really brings in, I think, a lot more interesting uh, boutique, you know, things that you're not going to see on the shelves um, mm -hmm. at a, uh, you know, at your local, uh, you know. Liquor store. Yeah, once again, making you a standout. So something else that stands out, as I mentioned, is the menu. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, I think, you know, the menu, what you'll see is, like I said, uh, for me, you know, my background, uh, it's, you know, very modern dining. I think uh, what you'll see is a lot of flavors of the region, mm -hmm. uh, but presented in a little, uh, you know, more modern, lighter uh, a lighter way so that, uh, you know, just really simple, yes. great, exciting food. And yeah. you're going to show us today, what are you making for us? Today I'm going to make uh, what we're uh, featuring on our lunch, our brunch menu currently is our uh, kind of a summer crab enchilada. Oh, that sounds good, especially this time of year when it's hot out, it's a perfect dish. So can you tell us how we would get started with something like this um, if we wanted to do it like you? Sure, um, you know, <laughs> uh, first off, you know, you really want to, uh, you really want to um, get the freshest crab uh, yes. available that you have. How do we do that um, here in New Mexico? You know, I think you, know, you go to a, for me, you know, you go to a retailer, uh, Whole Foods, one okay. of these things that really, uh, what I would say, have a great seafood program. Good. Okay. Don't be afraid to uh, ask your uh, fish guy to smell mm -hmm. and uh, smell what you're buying. Okay. So we got the good crab, number one. Good crab is always the key. Okay. Um, and I use, uh, what we use is a nice uh, blue lump crab. Mm. I even love the dishes you're using. They're so they to me they represent New Mexico so well. You know, and that's you know, like I said, you know, for us at uh, Luminari and at the hotel, mm -hmm. you know, we really um, we really want to uh, you know have people come and really experience what the region's about. Absolutely, and you do a good job. And, and also too, you know, we're going to add a little bit of uh, fresh jalapeno. Mm. What would a New Mexican dish without, be without a kick, Indeed. right? <laughs> Indeed. You know, and of course, for me, I love spicy food, so I might add a little more, but okay. you know, it's kind of on uh, how, how spicy you like your food, a little diced tomato, mm -hmm. and also some uh, fresh uh, red onion. Nice. Is there a reason you would use red as opposed to another? Um, you know, I think red, uh, red onion gives a little bit of color, and okay. uh, you know, it has a little bit, uh, it's not as sharp uh, in flavor as a, as a white onion. Good point. And then we use a little fresh cilantro. Mm love all these ingredients so far and you use fresh ingredients I want to Indeed. Mention. Yeah, indeed. And you know, one thing we do like uh, about uh, a lot of the stuff we serve at uh, Luminaria is uh -huh. we really try to support the farmers market love that. Uh, there. Um, and try to use as many regional ingredients as we can, mm -hmm. you know, keep it local. Always uh, seasoning. Always got to salt it up a little Always bit. Always got to season it. <laughs> do a little bit of uh, mayonnaise as well. Oh, does that just give it a better better texture? Indeed. It gives, gives it a little body. It gives okay. it a, and uh, then I also finish it with a little bit of uh, fresh uh, olive oil, mm. and we top it with a slaw as well. Ooh, gosh, which, this looks good. Which uh, we do a little bit of uh, fresh lemon juice. Nice. You got the fresh limes right there. So you put the lime over the, is that the cabbage? That is cabbage, okay. yes. A little cabbage, a little fresh cilantro, really simple. I love anything with a little crunch, I always say that. Indeed, Just a little bit of olive oil. 
Yummy. And always, once again, always want to season everything. You always, ma you, you guys make it look so fancy. All the chefs. I try at home. I try to take my salt and do that, and it just doesn't have the same effect. Yeah, and for, <laughs> and, you know, and for me, like on this dish, you know, as uh, it's it's really simple. Uh -huh. But I think what uh, for you know my philosophy is that you know the the food really talks. Yeah. You know, really. Good point. It, so I like to uh, you know make everything nice, fresh, simple. So you just mix it up. And that's, you know, that's about it. It's very, like I said, very simple. And then, you'll and then we have some, uh, and I use a nice mm -hmm. little uh, white corn uh, taquito uh, tortilla. Delicious. And it's uh, fried. You know, you can buy these. You know, if you're going to be uh, a gourmet, you want to fry them yourself, uh -huh. you can do that. If okay. not, you can always buy it at the store. Or you can just come in. Come into Luminaria. Or you can come into Luminaria <laughs> for uh, brunch, lunch or brunch. Exactly. Exactly. And while you continue to stir that up, I want to ask you, is there a signature dish that you're finding that guests are really loving the most? Um, you know, I have to say uh, this is one of the dishes I, that I have to say is definitely a signature on our lunch and our brunch menu. Okay. Um, for dinner, yeah. uh, we do. I do a great uh, braised uh, short rib with uh, mm -hmm. poblano cheese grits oh my. and uh, carrots and onions and escabeche. Wow. Uh, which seems to be a, a really um, you know popular dish. And we do specials every night that uh, you know generally we sell out of and you know, try to just keep things fresh and, and going in the kitchen. Well I want to remind all our viewers where they can go for more details about the Inn and Spa at Loretto and Luminaria as well. So let's tell everybody how they can find you. Yeah well we're at uh, at uh, old 211 Old Santa Fe Trail uh, right in uh, right off the plaza. Mm -hmm. It's really in, easy to find. In, uh, Santa Fe. Mm -hmm. uh, that's one great thing about the Inn Spot Loretto is that we're right in the heart of Santa Fe. It's so true. And you really get that whole experience. You really do. And speaking of a great experience, when we come back, we're going to put the final product together and we are tasting. Don't go away. Yummy. Well, we are back in the kitchen with executive chef Brett from Luminaria over at the Loretto Inn and Spa in Santa Fe. And tell everybody about our final product and what you added to it so that we know. We we'll added a little bit of uh, cabbage slaw to the top, a little mm. diced tomato, and then top it off with a little bit of uh, chipotle crema. Fabulous. Oh my gosh. Oh this my is gosh. Amazing. Cannot wait to try this. We're excited. Are we ready? Yeah, let's and do it. And thanks to all of today's guests mm -hmm. for being with us, as well as all of you, our viewers. We appreciate you each and every day. And you can join us right back here tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. for a lot more fun. Have a great Tuesday, everybody. Have a great Tuesday. And if there's anything you need to know about today or in any of our shows, just log on to our website at Casa.com. I'm about to make a huge mess. This Brett. is going to be so messy. It's going to be so messy, that's, but that's, that's forgive me. That's the fun me. thing about it. Yes. I'm a lady, but forgive me for this. Okay. Okay, did I just bite? Just bite into it. All right.